Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to talk about lesson 42: how to live, how to live a productive life, a productive life. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to talk about how to live a productive life. Every day is a gift, even days that difficult or days you feel down. Appreciate every day. Learn something new every day. Do something to improve yourself every day. Don't delay. Don't let your dreams die. Don't waste time. Just do it. Life is too short to waste even one single day. If you live every day fully and productively, you're bound to succeed. Remember, yesterday is a memory. Tomorrow is a dream. Live from today. Lesson 43, a recipe for happiness. Ladies and gentlemen, actually I'm going to talk about happiness. Where does happiness come from? It doesn't come from other people. It doesn't come from material things. It doesn't come from having a lot of money and power. It doesn't come from being popular. It comes from giving the best effort to everything you do. It comes from getting satisfaction from helping other people. It comes from growing smart and wiser every day. The happiness you feel is equal to the love you give. The more you give, the happier you will be. Lesson 44, my body type meal. My body food is fast food. It's still a lot of time for I don't care for fancy dinners. I think people should forget about wasting time and money on expensive food. It really doesn't matter if you eat expensive food or fast food as long as the food is nutritious. Lesson 45. Beautiful Hanno. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a very nice time here in Vietnam. There are many beautiful views, counted historical sites, and a variety of pieces of food for you to enjoy. Vietnam is a great place to do business. Vietnam is a wonderful place for vacation. I hope you will fall in love with Vietnam. I believe Vietnam is a fantastic place to visit and a marvelous place to live. If there's anything I can do for you, please, please let me know. I hope you will visit Vietnam again and again. Lesson 46, farewell speech, I will miss Vietnam. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sad that this speech is my farewell speech. Happy times always part too quickly. My two years stay in Vietnam will come to an end soon. I will miss you. I will miss my students. I will miss all my friends. I will miss Vietnam and of course, I will miss Vietnamese food. I will come back to Vietnam as soon as I can. Thank you for making much a wonderful experience. Thank you for your hospitality. Most of all, thank you for your unparalleled friendship. Lesson 47, why exercise is important. Ladies and gentlemen, today I would like to talk about exercise. More and more people are starting to recognize the benefits of exercise. Exercise is the only way to have a healthy body and healthy mind. Exercise is the only way to lose weight. There are many kinds of exercise. It is easy to choose one that suits you. The important thing to remember is that exercise needs to be a part of your daily life. Please take care of your body and start an exercise program each day. Physical health and mental health can both be improved with regular exercise. See the day, see the moment, see conscious of your health. Exercise for longer, healthier life. Thanks for your attention. Lesson 48, my wishes. Ladies and gentlemen, I have many wishes. I wish people would, I wish people all over the world would love each other more. I wish people would stop wasting energy. I wish people would be less selfish. I wish people would share happy feelings more freely, more freely and not keep their emotions shut inside. I wish that people could find cures for cancer and AIDS. In short, I wish that the world could be a better place. Thank you for letting me share all my wishes with you. This is an epic to worry about that. Hi Peter, uh, can I talk to you for a moment? I just hear the cookie factor data is going up of business. Why don't you hear that? Sarah told me. I'm not sure that you I haven't heard anything about it. She said that they have already started to lay people off. Doesn't your father work there? Yes, I'm really quite he might lay off. He just started to get uh, to work there about three months ago. What do you think I should do? I will talk to your father. Yeah. But if but if there was something wrong, I don't think 
he will tell me he doesn't like to upset me. I really, uh, but I really would like to know what's going on. So, what are you gonna do? Are the new good friends with the president of that company? Yes, we used to work together at a different company about five years ago. Maybe you could call him and see what's going on. Well, I don't know. I guess I could. He's pretty late late now. But I will call him in the morning. Okay, thank you. Thanks so much. Lesson 83. I'm getting proud. What I'm really getting proud? You don't, you don't look far. Yes, but I am. I, ha I have gained 10 pounds in the last two years, two months. Look at my stomach. How much do you weigh? I think about 170 pounds. What kind of food do you eat? I usually have pasta for dinner. Sometimes I get uh, I get take out of take out of fast food if I don't have enough time to cook. I was reading a diet book the other day. It said that if you eat meat and nothing else, you will lose weight quickly. Well, does that work? Does that work? I don't know, but someone told me they tried, they tried and lost 10 pounds. That sounds good, but I'm not sure how long, how long I could do that. I know once you start, in, you start eating vegetables and, and bread again, you will probably start again, start getting wet. Well, I think I'm going to try it anyway. Who's the author? I can't remember, it's not that pop popular anymore. When I get home, I will check and give you a call. That's all about my lesson. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.